Good morning. Can it be that the people who profess to serve God turn each one to his own course? Today we're at Jeremiah chapter 8, verses 4 through 7. Let's read it. Moreover, you shall say to them, Thus says the Lord, Will they fall and not rise? Will one turn away and not return? Why has this people slidden back, Jerusalem in a perpetual backsliding? They hold fast to deceit, they refuse to return. I listened and heard, but they do not speak aright. No man repented of his wickedness, saying, What have I done? Everyone turned to his own course, as the horse rushes into the battle. Even the stork in the heavens knows her appointed times, and the turtle dove, the swift and the swallow, observe the time of their coming. But my people do not know the judgment of the Lord. It seems as though prosperity is one of the things to be the most feared. Usually when we become fat and happy, that's when we find ourselves the most removed from the gospel. Isn't it true? We surround ourselves with material things and things of the heart slide to the background. Why, Jeremiah asks, why are these people trapped in this perpetual backsliding? Why are they holding on so tightly to deceit? At least part of the answer is found in verse 6. No man repented of his wickedness, saying, What have I done? Everyone turned to his own course as the horse rushes into the battle. When our bellies are full and we're satiated and we just, we just seem to go zooming along into wherever our desires seem to be leading us. With the flesh, the, the illegitimately developed habits of self-service, we just, we just follow along. We, we serve the flesh rather than the spirit. We serve sin, we sow to the flesh, and we reap corruption. Like the rider on his horse rushing headlong into the battle, you know, r rushing into the minefield, just, just what? He thinks he's going to miss every mine? But in our day, the individualism is, is so much more than in the, in the time of Jeremiah and the kingdom of Judah. Individualism is run rampant. And we have it here again in verse 6. Everyone turned onto his own course. People are just, you know, he's doing that, she's doing that, and he's doing that. It's as though we've been bought off by the consumer culture, that we've accepted the con, and we believe that silly bumper sticker that says, he who dies with the most toys wins. No, he doesn't. He who dies with the most toys is dead and will face judgment. He who dies will arise having been judged. And he's going to either arise in the very good resurrection or the very bad resurrection. Let's not dangle ourselves in the shallow pools of excess. Let's come up higher to something that's more meaningful, something that makes our life count for something. You know, Israel's on the migratory path of the stork, and the stork comes in a very timely way each year. It comes through, it's there very briefly, and then it moves on on its transit back and forth to Europe and down to Africa. The stork knows it's time, but Jeremiah says God's people don't even know his judgment. They fail to grasp its time, its reason, its blessing. We should understand the time and the reason and the blessing for God's judgment. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, this is a grim picture of people just going in their own direction long ago, and yet very current for us today. Please, Lord, help us to seek out your people, our fellow brothers and sisters, people who are trying to, to go along and, and follow the word and go in the right direction line. Help us, help us, Lord, to be on your line, moving in the right direction, following through with Jesus, and you will take care of the rest, Lord. When people all around us are racing into the minefields, Lord, may we, uh, may we race to the foot of the cross and may we there uh, look up and pray to you and receive from you our guidance. You be our Lord and you be our King, Lord. We thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, many turn to their own ways. Let us turn and follow the course of Jesus. Have a beautiful day serving the Lord Jesus Christ.